There's a massive expansion of casino gambling on the ballot, props 94 through 97. Four political deals that let four wealthy tribes underpay the state. And that shortchanges our police and fire departments. These are bad deals for California, and they do not guarantee one penny for our schools. Please, let's force them to come up with a better plan. Vote no on 94 through 97. Who's really behind the ads opposing the Indian gaming agreements? They're paid for by a Vegas casino owner and two racetracks. In fact, only two tribes oppose the agreements, while tribes statewide support a yes vote because the agreements share gaming revenues with all tribes that don't have casinos to fund health care, schools, and housing on reservations throughout California, benefiting over 70 tribes. Vote yes for California and California Indian tribes. Our state has a budget crisis, and our schools face terrible cuts. There's no single solution to our budget problems, but the Indian gaming agreements are a crucial part of the solution. The agreements provide hundreds of millions of dollars to our state each year to help vital public services statewide, including education. That's why I've joined with other teachers and parents to urge you to vote yes and keep these vitally needed revenues in our state budget. Thank you. A Vegas casino owner and two racetracks are paying for deceptive ads attacking the Indian gaming agreements. Well, here are the facts. The agreements require the tribes to pay a much higher percentage of their revenues to California. That will triple the amount of money the tribes pay to the state. And the agreements require independent financial audits of the tribes' revenues to be given to the state. Look into the facts and vote yes to keep the revenues for California. Indian gaming has helped improve conditions on Indian reservations by providing vitally needed funds for housing, education, and other tribal services. Now, new agreements will provide greater benefits to our state. The tribes will pay a much higher percentage of their gaming revenues to the state and share revenues with non-gaming tribes that don't have casinos. Support these important agreements by voting yes on 94, 95, 96, and 97. Here's the real story behind the gambling deals. These guys, the politicians in Sacramento, gave a sweetheart deal to these guys, their campaign contributors. They sold out poor tribes, they sold out taxpayers, they even sold out casino workers who are not guaranteed health insurance. That's why nearly three million Californians had to sign petitions and demand the right to vote no on the unfair gambling deals.